sacred feminine. Um, I'm going to sort of let her just do her thing because I think she definitely knows, well maybe knows more about it than I do. dare to get a little bit more intimate and actually get those uh, chairs right out of the way and come and gather around. I think you'll get much more out of this ceremony if you do that. Get, get the tables and chairs back and just come and be uh, on the floor. Why not? Is that alright? It's not too cold, is it? It's a wooden floor, isn't it? Put, put, put those chairs back. Maybe the table needs to go back a little bit. There's one with the glasses on. Hello. Hello. Andrea, this is about your clitoris. I know, I know. <coughs> uh, do, do you know what it's called? Did anyone notice in the program what this uh, ceremony is called? Oh, <laughs> a glitterous, a glitterous communion. So, um, any ideas what that might be? Ooh, <laughs> might be something a bit sexy, you never know. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, I'd like to introduce my uh, friends. Uh, I have um, with me uh, a really wicked old lady. She's a Sheila the Gig. Have people heard of Sheila the Gigs? Okay, so I, I can actually show you a little one. Uh, could, um, Liz, would you like to help me? Liz has been my divine assistant. I'm going to take this off and then you can pass it round and meet her. Because um, she is going to be uncovered, but I think she looks a bit shy at the moment. <laughs> We'll start with the communion quite soon, but um, if people can just have a quick glance at her. You, you will have met her before, but you've forgotten her name or something. Um, she came right out of our culture. She was found in medieval times in churches and monasteries, and she had a special function, and it was to do with uh, women bearing children. They needed a guide, because I don't think the, the church, it was quite patriarchal, wasn't it, at that time? Uh, it, the, the, um, the priests wouldn't have been able to advise the women too much and give them power. So certainly Sheila Nagig goes way back. So is she going round? Yeah. Okay, that's great. So in, in a few minutes, we'll ask somebody to help unveil her. And uh, I'll just introduce um, uh, this, uh, this being. I want to tell you, this, this is a glitterous. But I haven't unveiled the glitterous yet. Uh, so I'm going to tell you um, something that happened about three days ago. I was sitting uh, with some women. We were having a special women's evening, like women do. And uh, we got talking about the hymen. Does everyone know the hymen? Yes. Yeah? Does anyone that doesn't know? That's probably the best way to put it. Does anyone? I can, I can tell you. It's supposed to be uh, inside the cunt there is a, 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 some kind of membrane that is supposed to bleed when, when we um, have our first fuck, something like that. That's what it's supposed to be. Now, so I happen to know um, a guy who works at Guy's as a, a teacher of um, anatomy. Uh, you guys should be coming in a bit closer talking of Guy's. Come on. I, I want the guys to be particularly in on this. It's very, very important to know the Divine Feminine, isn't it, for all of us, and especially the men folk. So come on closer, come, come, come. <laughs> oh, it's a musician. Are you able to uh, give a bit of uh, background? Sensuous? Yeah, would you? Whenever you feel ready, just kind of come up here and, um, I love that word, come, uh, and uh, just, you know, tune in. <laughs> 
All right, so keep, keep getting closer and closer. Don't, don't uh, hold back. <laughs> um, you're really enjoying this, aren't you? I can tell you're really with me. <laughs> He's chuckling and chortling. Right? Um, okay, so I'll tell you about the hymen. So I happen to know at Guy's Hospital, a doctor who teaches anatomy. And uh, so basically he spends all day with students cutting up corpses but he does know anatomy. So I texted him, this is about three days ago, and said, uh, what purpose is the hymen? Because we women think it's very important to know this. And so about uh, 20 minutes later, a text came back to say that the, the hymen is, um, I can't exactly remember how I put it, but it's an embryological remnant of no purpose, of no relevance. Isn't that interesting? Very, very terse. Uh, do, do people understand the significance of what I'm saying? Because women have been um, put through a lot of torture and shame and anguish. You know that, don't you? Uh, in relation to what goes on in their cunt. Um, this hymen thing that's supposed to bleed. And uh, that uh, tells your, your lover, your man, that uh, you're a virgin, a true virgin. Uh, it's all poppycock. Poppycock? <laughs> so is, is that uh, kind of uh, all right for you anthropologists, if I say this kind of thing? Because you, you, you're there already, aren't you? Because you're anthropologists. You, you know about these kind of things. But, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't dive in so deeply if you weren't. So, okay, so I think it might be time. Um, Liz, can you help me uh, to um, unveil... First of all, the Sheila, and then, then we'll do the glitteris. Uh, whoops, whoops, whoops. <laughs> um, okay, so if, if you hold this. Yeah. Um, um, I'll, I'll, no, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. It's all then rehearsed, totally improvised. I'm going to offer to you beautiful people, uh, either a young man or a young woman, to come up and help me unveil uh, the um, Sheila this is a sacred act, that she is a representation of our ancestors, our women who bore the people that bore us going back hundreds and hundreds and thousands of years because she was pre Christian. So just to, to tell you. gently and reveal her. Uh, can everybody see? Because um, we don't have very good lighting, so be intimate. So they, these beautiful people are going to just take this, remove it, and you'll see a Sheila and a gig uh, that's made by a friend of mine. She's not an original. They're very hard to come by. They're very hidden and secret. There's lots of them, but they're quite secret. Uh, so you're going to slowly slide that off, and uh, you, you will see uh, a beautiful being. She's there to be seen. When you're ready. Very sensuously and very reverently. Ah, oh, it's lovely music, thank you. Yeah, no, give it to Liz. She's going to receive it. Thank you for that music, it's beautiful. So can people see what there is to be seen? Would anyone like to um, venture to describe what they can see? Come, come close, come close. Be, be mobile, be ceremonial, be uh, in your true self. Don't be shy, you know, we're, we're not English anymore, we're... <laughs> Yes, that's right. Come on, anthropologists. Come on. <laughs> so, if you.
you haven't met her before, she might be a little bit shocking, but I assure you, there are many, many Sheila Nigigs throughout the <laughs> British Isles, especially in Ireland. And they have a very, very deep purpose to help medieval women and pre-Christian women give birth. Come and meet her. There she is. Would you, would you guys like to show the you? You're not, you're not ashamed or afraid, are you? So just meet her. You can touch her legs. <laughs> right, understand. That's it's you're not no you're, you're, it's not not meant to be forced. So when you meet her next time, you will leap leap out and uh, embrace her. This is the first meeting, so we are a bit reserved. Okay, thank you so much. Um, I'm going to ask uh, two new people to come in and unveil the glitteris. <coughs> she, you know, it's the glitteris is all done up with her glitter and finery, so she wants to be uh, seen. You know, she's out on a, a night in uh, Canterbury. Liz, could you go and help two people come up to the front, please? Liz is going to help you. One man and one woman, maybe. Oh, that's beautiful, thank you. Give him a hand. Give them a hand as well. Thank you. You are our pioneers, and here's two more pioneers, okay? So, um, we have this beautiful uh, covering to keep her modesty, and uh, if you, Liz, are you ready to receive? Yes. Okay, so if this comes round to the front, and uh, you, you two, uh, you bring the, you could call it the hymen maybe, we're, we're removing the, uh, the gorgeous hymen. <laughs> I don't know, call it what you like, but it, it's just um, a, a beautiful sunny covering. Wow, thank you. This is the vitreous. See how shiny she is. Thank you. Would you like to touch her? Oh, yeah. That feels nice. Um, what would you like to do the next stage? Because you're like beaming that. so strongly. Well, no, I think good. you should kneel down and uh, you should take the tickle oh. stick behind you and uh, bring her to life with the tickle. That, is that pink thing there? <laughs> okay, now, that you have to approach her very sensuously. Okay? So, um, we need a chant while he does this, you know, to, to get his courage up. That's very anthropological, isn't it? So, does anyone know something that we can, um, you know, breathy, that we can, uh, you know, say yes and to encourage? What's your name? Naz. Okay, Naz, would, would you like them to, to be with you? Like a chant. Okay, now ask them what, what you'd like to hear from them. Yeah, to encourage you at this moment to meeting the glitteress and giving her a tip. Are you up to that, folks?
I'm just going to specify uh, uh, what beautiful voice you want. Uh, I'm disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, all, all we need is intimacy um, with the people here. No, nobody um, on the other side, on the other end of the mobile, is with us right now. So we are here together. We are a beautiful community having a communion. And um, w would you like to um, offer the tickle stick to somebody after you like to get here? This is this is another version of the tickle stick. We really should be having a stream of people coming up to honour the glitterers. Can we do it again? So can you kneel, Danny? You can't get it up. You know, come, come and be reverent to come and be sensuous. This, we're crossing over from the blasphemous to the sacred and back again. So there, there was Eve taking the apple and we, we are now taking the apple and we are now going to turn ourselves on to deep knowledge. Deep knowledge of the feminine and the masculine and the great dance of life and creation. Is that alright? Oh, by the way, you're supposed to be holding your apples. We're, we're all going to do it as a, in communion. Don't eat your apples yet. So don't eat your apples. Sorry, I should have told you that. If 
if you've eaten it doesn't matter, no, just get another one. Oh, and share, share it. You want a pizza? So get my uh, last week, please, Apple. It's going to be, it's going to be wonderful. In a few minutes we will all be eating apple together. This is communion. This is true communion. This is communion with knowledge, with wickedness, with the evil Eve. Yes, come, come and get some apple. Thank you. Where is it? St. Paul's Cathedral in London, and we took it, we 
took, we put lots of tents there quite a while ago and this flower was used to anoint, it was a lovely hot day. So um, you're going to receive sprinklings of uh, salty water. So close your eyes and these two beautiful divine creatures are going to sprinkle you. So make, make, yes, yes. So you, you hold gold and uh, you, you do the sprinkling. So they're going to work together as um, a dynamic duo and uh, everyone's going to receive refreshments. <laughs> now shake it really hard and you get those people in the back seat, especially anyone with their arms full. <laughs> but can you feel it, how fresh it is? Try, try doing this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Gently, gently. I'll probably not know the lights down there. So this is to combine with your beautiful friends. You know, from the time that you came out of the salty water, you began to breathe. Isn't that beautiful? You've been breathing ever since. <laughs> Take in deep breaths when you feel the water. <laughs> Close your eyes and oh, inspire, be inspired. <laughs> I love getting moist. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.